good day. Today's Friday, the uh, 17th of June. Kind of overcast and cloudy, a little bit of a few showers this morning earlier, but I hope it clears up. It's supposed to get warmer from now on, about time. Um, we're really happy to, to get, come into your home today and to um, just discuss a few things with you, just mention a few things. Sunday, of course, is Father's Day, and we honor all our fathers living and deceased at all masses, and we honor all of you. And um, we pray that God will bless all you fathers and grandfathers and godfathers and all different kinds of people who assume the duty of father. Uh, that's, that's really the image of God. God is the father, and um, he inspires us, all of us, as fathers too, um, as Catholic priests and also as you, as fathers of families. It's also a piece of Corpus Christi. And uh, we have a procession, a Eucharistic procession, beginning at St. Joseph's at 2.45, about 2.45, and processing up here, up the avenue here to um, St. Paul the Cathedral. We have benediction here when you get here at about 4.30 or so. And um, we invite everybody that's possible to join. It might be, I hope it's going to be good weather, it promises to be, and it'll be a great day to show our public adoration of Jesus Christ in the Eucharist, because we believe, of course, that the Eucharist is not just a symbol or a sign, but it is actually the body and blood of the Lord. So anyway, that's Sunday this week, and we celebrate that feast at, at all our Masses for the weekend, the Feast of the Body and Blood of Jesus Christ. Life Teen is Spy Edge. Uh, we'll meet here next Wednesday at, uh, what time is it going to be, son? 6.30. 6.30. And, um... They're going to have root beer floats in our assembly place and also karaoke. And so all high school and middle school students, those coming into high school and those coming into middle school as well, are invited to come. 6.30, just come on to our assembly place just south of the church, next to the church. We just finished a few minutes ago um, a mass of Christian burial for Pat Smith, one of our grand old pioneers here, or really a wonderful parishioner. She was in, well into her 90s, and we just celebrated her life a few minutes ago. Her husband died many years ago. I was privileged to, in their life to commemorate their 50th anniversary of their marriage in Rome many years ago, over 20 years ago, um, and also the 65th, I think it was at Landmark Nursing Home, uh, where he was a patient at the time. But... Um, it's wonderful to really celebrate the lives of these one great people, even though it pains me to lose so many. They're like, they're like family. I've been here so long. When someone dies, it's been very active in the parish and very supportive. Um, it's like losing a member of one's family. But um, we want to um, uh, celebrate all our deceased, and we have Rose Utada this afternoon. We have a few more, or a few minutes. I'm leaving in the, right after this uh, video to celebrate her funeral also down at Keith and Keith Funeral Home. And then tomorrow uh, we commemorate of Karen Cody Bennett, another parishioner, um, tomorrow afternoon. Last night uh, we had a celebration for Jerry Kaminsky, our musician and organist, who's leaving us in July to go to... Uh, near his home back at Omaha. He's been trying to, yearning for his home. It's important to him with his family and they're getting older and sick and he's going to have an opportunity to have another assignment and take up another job there in that area. And we rejoice with and for him, although it, it's really painful to lose him. He's such, been such an asset to our parish. He's been so great in sharing his marvelous musical ability, his talent, it's always been wonderful taste that he has shown, and he's given, he's, he's, he's enthused us when, when on great feast days and calmed us at funerals and different times when it's a calmer time is theologically. Um, we really will miss him. But on third on Sunday the third of July, by the way, after the eleven o'clock mass, I know it's a holiday weekend, but after the eleven o'clock mass, we're going to have a public uh, reception for him. Over in our assembly place, there'll be hors d'oeuvres and um, refreshments and drinks. And come on over and plan to come and join us and thank him for his 24 years of faithful service. 
He has been here for 24 years in our parish community. And um, right after him came Sean Exner. He came just within a year or so after that. Mm -hmm. And then um, our housekeeper, uh, um, Carla Adams, came the year after that. She's been here 22 years, and she's retiring this year, too. We're going to have a gathering for her on the 28th of um, September, as you can, 28th June. of June, Marjorie, as you can read in the bulletin. Um, next week, we, we seem to be having a lot of funerals lately. Julian Aragorn, we are celebrating his Master Christian burial, and also Ann Gammon, who was the head of our resurrection group for several years. We're finally celebrating and, and uh, having an inurement out at uh, Calvary Cemetery on um, next next week. Um, I'm privileged also next week to um, join in the Marquette um, 56th anniversary of the graduating class of Marquette High School. And I was invited as a guest and I'm really happy to join in and to be with them. Marquette has a wonderful reputation, as you know, and LaSalle kind of took up that reputation, even though it began its own. It's built on the reputation of that great high school, Marquette, Marquette High School, as well as Central Catholic and Carroll High School that we had here in the past. Next week, I also we're also celebrating our uh, Spanish choir with a dinner. Um, we want to express our appreciation for those wonderful people. Not only in the Spanish community, but also in our English community, Life Team Band and also our um, regular parish choir. They, they enrich us. We take them for granted so often, but they, they enrich our liturgies so beautifully, and we owe so much to them. They spend hours of time every week, not only in singing at the 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock masses and uh, 7 in the evening, Life Team, but also in practicing for those, getting ready for those. And we're grateful to all the people who participate in this particular form of, of ministry. Um, without them, we'd be our worship would be rather dead. And so we, we really want to express our appreciation now of all those involved in music ministry in our parish community. Um, I'd like to be able to read my own notes, but I can't. Um, I can't give you any more news about the school. We're still trying to get the asbestos, all the asbestos removed from the school. We've got a little bit left. Most of it's gone from the, top, the part that was ruined by the flood, but the other part of the school that wasn't hit, we still have to remove the abate, abatement of that asbestos in our school. And uh, hopefully as soon as that's finished, we can start in the reconstruction. As you know, um, the insurance company wasn't that enthused about our strike destroying our school building and just keeping our gym and, and cafeteria and adding a couple of floors. It would be so much more expensive than to restore the building the way we had it. And so we're going to have our school back, but it's going to take a few months. And uh, once the uh, uh, asbestos abatement, abatement is finished, then we'll start in, in the reconstruction, rebuilding, and redecorating the building itself. Um, let's see what else I want to mention here. I want to give thanks to everyone for the continued support of our parish community. You know, we've weathered an awful lot the last couple of years with the um, terrible disease, COVID. And um, mm -hmm. our bishop, by the way, came down with COVID. He's positive with that um, disease right now. He was down at a, a conference, a retreat conference of all the Catholic bishops of the United States down in San Diego when he took a test and found that he was positive. So he'll be gone for a few days. Um, I did want you, um, he won't be here Sunday for the procession, Eucharistic procession. He was going to carry the Eucharist, aided by a few of the others, through the streets, but um, he can't do that this weekend because he's still positive. He still has the COVID and um, we wouldn't want him to spread it around. So, um, let's see, what else? Uh, oh, we have Juneteenth coming up this Sunday. And it's a holiday, of course, Monday is celebrated on Monday. And it's uh, to commemorate the kind of the 
last the end of slavery officially by the time the word got to some people it was quite a bit after the Civil War and the Emancipation Proclamation but we joined with our um, other black Americans and joined with them and thanking God for the end of slavery which didn't have any respect at all for the dignity and integrity of a single human being so um, we're grateful that we're not part of that episode of our nation and we also need to pray for our nation because things aren't great as you well know with the inflation and the COVID still around and the threats of wars um, things are very difficult we need to pray for those who are leading us and for those who will lead us in the future we need to pray for the integrity and the continued prosperity of our people the poor are really suffering with this inflation I, I'm not a, a shopper I hate to shop but Speaking of those who do shop regularly, I know that the um, prices have gone up immensely. And I can notice that myself, especially with going to the gas station to fill up my car. Luckily, my car is a very, uses very little gas, and I don't drive it very much. I've had it for over six years now, or about six years, and I just hit 18,000 miles on it. So most of my driving is local, uh, and um, I don't go very far driving if i go distances i fly you can't drive to hawaii and um but my blessing is with you today as we uh, anticipate uh, uh the, the end of june and the last the, the days will be getting shorter now as we know in a couple few days uh the the, the end of the days less length lengthening is with us and we become we turn around and they become shorter uh, from the middle of June until um, next year. Thank you again for your support and encouragement. It's my joy and blessing to give you a, a blessing and to ask God to be with you. And may Almighty God bless you and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.